All right, YouTube, what's up? It's Mike with Azzle Reptiles. This is vlog 25. Uh, in today's vlog, we're going to um, see Clutch 4, Clutch 5, and the cutting of the possible world's first clutch. Um, and I think, oh, and some more turtle stuff. So enjoy the vlog. As always, hit the notification bell. I should start being able to put out more videos uh, as there are more things to show you with eggs coming, eggs hatching, turtles coming out, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button, and uh, enjoy the video. All right, this is clutch number four. This is a 100% double head albino VPI exanthic female, bred to an albino pos head VPI exanthic male. So if he proves out, I can hit on snows. Be kind of cool. Clutch looked big. I thought I saw nine eggs when I first checked on it this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them now. All right, so uh, I figured I'd show off real quick uh, while I'm pulling clutch four, bleh, clutch four, how I kind of put together my egg boxes. So this is what I started doing last year after I had some issues and it's worked pretty well for me. So that is vermiculite. I put a scoop of it, about this much scoop of that in there I severely waterlog it I don't know if you can see see that water when I push down the squeezing up so it's very very wet and then I just stick the uh, egg crate on top and then the eggs will sit right on top of that in in uh, without actually touching the vermiculite and uh, yeah then I cover them up with this write all the information here goes into the incubator pretty simple so nine was accurate. She gave us nine good eggs. So fingers crossed we hit some double recessives. Hashtag double recessives. Get the snows. So I use these little clips just to make sure that eggs don't roll. After I candle them, there's my flashlight. I uh, mark the tops just so I know. And yep, use those little things to keep them from rolling. The person that I bought this these animals from, he did breed them once and hit on a lavender albino, but didn't hit on the double uh, recessive. And to my understanding, no one has. So we'll see if I get lucky again. Got a few people. I'm just looking to see how many people are on this stuff. I told everyone 1.30, so I was trying not to go early, but since the kids are sleeping now, we need to. Do a quick sneak peek and right off the bat, if everyone can see, that looks like a lavender albino and that looks like an ultramel. You can see I have four that pipped. These two are back in. But uh, we'll see in a second if there's uh, the double. And again, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to tell the double. Alright. And uh, I guess I'll just go for it. If you miss this, everybody, I will uh, post it on YouTube. So it will be there as well. Um, but yeah, for time's sake, we don't know if my kids are going to wake up or not. So uh, yeah, let me just revel in what I see. A lavender albino and an ultra mel. At least, maybe one of those, I guess, could be the double head. Since I don't know what the double head... Sorry, the double recessive. Since I don't know what the double recessive is actually going to look like. So, I guess this is go down the line. Uh, we'll start here with this egg. You can focus on them real quick while I cut been a year since I cut eggs so make sure I'm not out of practice Ooh, this thing looks like a ultra male again but again I guess it could be the double I won't know until everybody's out of the egg and I can actually compare but it definitely looks like it has ultra male in it sorry let me get these out of the way and then so this is interesting I've never actually hit on ultra male, so I don't know what they look like as babies. But that is definitely looks ultra male. But see how dark that is? I wonder if that could be what the double recessive is going to look like. Um, I started this project out because I saw what was a regular albino ultra male on the internet. And it looked awesome. Like, amazing. So I was like, I saw this opportunity to get these animals. So I went for it. Um... Tell you what, they're all stuck together, so we'll cut this way. So I went for it, and uh, oop, this just looks like a normal pos double hit of it, uh, of course. But with the lavender version, I figured it might look even better. 
So that's why I went for it. And um, I have wanted Ultramel in my collection for a while anyhow. So you can see that's just normal. Let me see. Oh, they're still stuck pretty good. So yeah, just a little normal in there. And we'll do this one whose head is out. Ooh. Sneak back in there. There you go. And uh, I guess we'll find out what, uh, if I hit on it, what the double head with lavender albino looks like. I will, uh, on the YouTube video, try to post a picture of the uh, one that I saw on the internet that made me get into this project in the first place. It's pretty cool looking. Now, that is cool. Again, I don't know. I don't know how good that's picking it up. It's definitely Ultramel. Sorry, I'm got a paper towel. See how good the YouTube video actually picks up on this stuff. All right, let's uh, get this other one here. It's open. Oop. Today is day 55. This is the one that was, ooh, interesting. Again, I've never actually hatched out lavender albinos before either, but that, I think it just looks like a lavender albino. These are the type of uh, babies that you might have to let them shed out a few times too, to really know what you got, uh, you know, depending on what the double recessive looks like. So let's get, so this other one that pipped looks like another normal pos double head so we'll get that real quick yeah there you go again all the normals will be um 66 percent pos double heads because both parents were 100 percent heads all right we got two left Let's see if we get anything here and uh, it's funny because it's like I don't know if the world's first will actually be super obvious or if it's going to look similar to one of these others. Oh, that's another pos double head. Let me get a little bit bigger. All right, and one last chance, and we'll find out. Still very happy to hit on those three. Whether or not if they're the double hit. Ah, uh, this is just another pos double hit. I'm not going to open that one anymore. I can actually see the umbilical right there. and I don't want to mess with it too much. Oh, no. Awesome. This is really cool. Hopefully, this snake is okay. I hate when the umbilical is right there. Let me actually just do this. So, this is a paradox. I can see... I don't know if you guys can. I don't want to mess too much with it. But right near where that umbilicus is. Shoot. Here you go. Look at there. That's a paradox of a lavender albino. So I'm going to put this guy back in and hope he'll be okay. And that umbilicus is not an issue. I will check back on it. So, there's your clutch again. Let me know what you guys think. If either of these are the double head, if you've hatched Ultra Mel's, you know, let me know. Um, definitely have one lavender albino, have two that are at least Ultra Mel's, if not the double, and four normals that are 66% double heads, one that is Paradox. Very happy with this clutch. Again, I don't know for sure if I hit on the double, but definitely let me know what you think. All right, I'm going to show off with the, the video for YouTube real fast. And, um,. Yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this. If you were commenting, my fault. Uh, my wife and I are both doing this for the first time, so I don't know if anyone said anything or asked questions or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll update everyone on this in a couple weeks. Or actually, I'll probably update you in a week. I'm sure by then they'll all be out. And then again in another week once they've shed. All right, guys. See you all later.
All right, so this is clutch number five. This is my cinnamon, whoop, my cinnamon specter female, and she was bred to my possible Odium male, who is pinstripe, pastel, NG, Mojave, uh, yellow belly, possible Odium. So this could be really cool. I'm hoping to prove them out. Well, actually, both the Odium and the yellow belly in this case make some really cool super stripe combos. All right, looks like we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven good eggs here. So seven chances on some cool super stripe stuff. Right there is one of my Golf Coast, my actually one of my male Golf Coast box turtles coming out. Finally got a seven degree day here in Maryland. So he's coming out. I've seen his head a few times, so I don't know if he'll stay out or not. We've seen a couple of the others poke their heads out as well. Maybe we'll see them today. There's one, and uh, she's been, there's one right in there been poking her head out. There's one in this little area poking its head out. So maybe they'll come out later today in the eastern box turtle area over here I found two little hatchlings that had come out I guess from last spring their the eggs were laid I found the two little hatchlings the last few days the North American woods have been out but they came out the last time we had a seven degree day but they've been hiding since then so I'm not sure where they are None of the eastern boxes have come out yet, though. I don't see any of the bigger North Americans yet, either. They're probably in the pond. But, um... Yeah, two little hatchings. Just walking around, found them on the ground. All the adults are usually in this area. Yeah, like I said, I haven't seen any of them come out yet. Maybe today. Nice warm day. And I did move the yearling North American woods. I don't know if you can see them down in there, but they're in there. So maybe you'll get lucky and see some of the other turtles out today. So I'm giving the marginated. Some outdoor time on this beautiful day. I figured they might enjoy they might enjoy some sunlight and some natural greens. So that's what we're doing here. This is eventually where I'm going to build their enclosure, right in this area of the backyard. There they go. This little one's even eating a little bit. Security cat, that one barely has moved. Love seeing them eat. I can't wait till they're out here full time. Can't wait till all the turtles are outdoors. All right, so, um, hope lighting's not great. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I don't think I hit the world's first. I'll try that pairing again next year. Um, I did hit on a couple cool things as you saw the paradox that's a first for me I've never hit on a paradox before um, I hit on two ultra males most likely I'll keep the ultra males and the paradox uh, I'll probably sell everything else uh, But yeah, I'm gonna try the pairing again next year if you think I hit the double head or sorry If you think I hit the double recessive, let me know um, You know, no one's hit it. So I, I don't really know what it looks like 
Uh, I will show off uh, definitely on Instagram and Facebook pictures of the uh, clutch once they've come out of the egg and everything else. But uh, yeah, definitely thank you for checking it out. For everyone who stopped by on the Instagram live, thank you for checking it out. Uh, sorry I wasn't great with it. I am still learning. Uh, and as always, you know, uh, Oz and Reptiles out.